family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to Clash of Clans. So guys, we're back on the 13, Rush 2 Max, where, uh, as usual, I want to upgrade some heroes, okay? So the king is the target today. I need 105,000 Dark Elixir. I have 107, so that worked out nicely. Uh, but then also the Warden. I would like to upgrade the Warden, but I don't have enough Elixir. So that's pretty much going to be the focus for today since I happen to have enough Dark Elixir. I don't know where that... I don't know how that happened. I've been so busy in real life that I haven't had time to do any farming. So I don't know. It, it just worked out that way. It's awesome. But uh, but yeah, so let's go do some, uh, some raids. I've got some sneaky goblins still. And although I will be focusing on Dark Elixir primarily, uh, we need some elixir, obviously, for the warden. So let's go. Also, real quick, the uh, the laboratory is still showing jump spell upgrading. We've got four days until that is done. So making progress, slow and steady, wins the race. Okay, so let's... Find a, a good starting base. Ooh, this is pretty. Not great for sneaky goblins. I mean, I could do it, but I bet you I can find something better. That's kind of the point of being down this low in trophies, right? Finding a base that's just easy, dead base or whatever. Um, but I like, I love those bases with the big, fat, juicy, dark elixir storage in the middle like that. It's just really, really nice. Okay, this one's pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with some of these. This isn't a dead base. But it's close-ish. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. So, uh, so giant bomb. I'll drop a haste as well. I'm, I'm sorry. Jump spell. Why did I say giant bomb? I was probably expecting one to be somewhere close. That's probably what that was. Uh, but there you go. So we're gonna. Oh, there it is. Giant bomb. Told you. I called it. All right. And then uh, this one here. I guess I'll place that down just like that. And let's haste that. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go ahead and another giant bomb. It's like I called it. I'm like a psychic or something. It's it's terrible. I don't like knowing what's coming. It's it's scary. But no, no, no. Uh, we're, we're good. So um, let's let's put down the uh, let's put down this battle blimp. I've got the warden, so I can probably like get the battle blimp there. The problem is going to be that sweeper. I want to get in there and take out that dark elixir storage. So let's give this a try. All right. Um, if I come in from like this super far angle, and then. Pop the ability. Maybe, just maybe, they'll make it. It is a max, uh, a max one, so that should be okay. Um, okay, so the this is all balloons. I didn't realize it was only balloons in there. Dang it! What did I get? What did I destroy? I didn't even see it. Oh, that was not at all the plan. And I've only got one jump spell now too. Yeah. Okay. So here, uh, I've got a plan. Uh, well, it's only a thousand dark elixirs. Should I care that much? I should, because there's also elixir on the way. Okay, King, you get in there. Royal champion, uh, open open the way for me. All right. And then uh, King, I'm gonna need you to be the wall breaker, because I didn't bring any wall breakers. So King is gonna be the wall breaker and uh, send us. Basically, send my let's pop this uh, royal champion's ability here. I'm wondering if any of these things are gonna die. Like the the ammunition's gonna run out on any of these because you know it's kind of like sort of a dead base i guess i don't know we'll see uh but anyway so this jump spell saved to try to get these sneaky goblins through to the dark elixir storage I'm waiting on that pop that king's ability once he gets in there i'm gonna drop the jump spell a couple of hastes and uh let's go ahead and send the sneakies forward and i'm just gonna send them all in nicely quick let's pop that king's ability now and there goes the gold storage. So now the dark elixir storage. Get in there, buddies. And I sent them all in, dude. I was like, yo, I want a thousand dark elixir. And then, ooh, and then the Giga Tesla. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, I didn't lose. That was epic. Oh, I love that. Yes. So if you're willing, and I'm normally too cheap for this, to be honest, but if you're willing to spend your your tro your uh, your spells and stuff, then you could do pretty well with this strategy. That was awesome. Okay. So that was uh, over 6,000 dark elixir. And I got all the elixir too, which was good. And a star bonus. That doesn't hurt. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess I've got a. Ooh! Oh, that's not good. 25,000 Dark Elixir. Um, I do want to train up another army. But if I do that, then that puts me below where I need to be. Yeah, that's going to put me 10,000 below where I need to be, uh, I think. So I, I, I would rather not do that. Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to request for some CC troops. Let's wait a moment, make sure I, because I have no heroes now, get my CC, and then go out and do it again. And 
I might have to do another type of raid. I don't know, maybe like a, a barge raid or, or something. Get some extra, or miners, they're great. Uh, so you get some extra Dark Elixir so I can buy the Sneaky Goblins again. Because I'm about to spend all that Dark Elixir. I don't want to risk it. You know what I mean? So, okay. Thank you for the Electro Dragon and the Balloon, my friend. You're awesome. I'll go ahead and go. I know I'm missing 10 troop capacity. But I'm uh, impatient and I don't want to wait right now. I'm not feeling like waiting right now for anything. I feel like just getting into the action. So let's try to find a base, guys, that, that fits the description. And this one will be a little bit different, a little bit more difficult. Because, yeah, no heroes. And, uh, yeah, this is really the like the last sneaky goblin army. Probably for the day. Maybe. We'll have to see. I'm thinking about trying the uh, the Baby Dragon Army, either on this account or on my Town Hall 9. So let me know which one you'd rather see that on. I, I don't think it makes a difference. But if you guys have an opinion for some reason, let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's go in. This is another dead one, so we'll just sniggle in a few of these sneakies. And I'm not going to worry too much about getting the Town Hall on this one just because it's in the middle and I don't have, I don't really have like that great of a setup for that. Plus the heroes really help. So I missed one of these gold mines, and I'm going to close out. So that's all she wrote. And they, they don't get a trophy either. How, how mean is that? So that was a lot of loot. Let's do it again. I'm just going to milk it. And I got the rest of the balloons for my CC. That's awesome. All right. Uh, lots of elixir again. You know what? Let's uh, let's go. No, I want, the, I want more dark elixir. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to be... This time, I'm going to be a little bit patient. It's a roulette, dudes. It's an absolute roulette. Like, are we going to get patient Klaus today? Or are we going to get impatient Klaus today? Or some combination of the two. Today, it's a combination of the two. All right, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. This one's a lot better. See, a little bit of patience paid off in this case. Um, collectors and mines. There's some drills over there. I got a drill. I got a storage over there in the middle. So that's definitely going to be a target for me. Uh, I would also like to get this Elixir Collector over here. It looks like most of this loot's actually in the storages. So, let's do it like so. Let's actually get a jump spell. Place it down just like that. And then haste, haste, haste. And then send them in. I'm going to I'm gonna kind of trickle them in. Because I think they're going to go straight for that, uh, that storage there. Let's drop that rage spell. I want them to move quickly. And then... Place them onto the town hall. Come on, guys. You know you want to. Yes! Go, 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 go with that rage spell! Nice! Oh, that feels so good! That was amazing! Okay, I've got I've got some more stuff I can use. Let's do some more. Let's get some more. Uh, I'm thinking the storage probably has the most, so let's send it in. One, two, three, five. Let's so go ahead and send them all in. And then I'll haste them. I don't know where they're going to go, but they'll go somewhere. Uh, oh, they're going to go for that treasury! Nice! Well, let's... I was going to freeze the eagle, but I guess there's no point. Cool. Dude, I cannot believe... Oh, you know what? Let's put the E-Drag on this Elixir Collector. Just for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. And I was gonna freeze the Eagle. I guess I could still do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and freeze the Eagle. There you go. Don't shoot me again, bro. Of course, there's an air defense. So that's gonna be a problem. You got this, dude. Kill the king. Smite him. Smite him in the face. Smite him with an axe. Smite him with your electricity. I don't care. Dang it. I was smited by something. Don't even know what it was. I'm sad about it. But that's okay, I guess. Look at all that loot that I got. That's worth it, right? Uh, 80, 600 Dark Elixir, 800,000 Elixir. That's awesome. Okay. Great things happened today, guys, as far as loot's concerned. Sneaky Goblins are, are a lot of fun, especially once again, if you're willing to invest some spells. I was really cheap with them at the beginning, and I think that's what kind of brought that opinion of me that I was bad with them. It probably had a lot to do with the fact that I wasn't very good with them. But don't... We're not going to talk about that, okay? We're going to talk... Now we're going to get into the upgrades, okay? Let's do this. So first things first, treasury, right? As usual, collect that. Bam. Now let's... Um, I thought I saw a bug or something on the wall. But I see nothing. So sorry about that. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so King, let's upgrade him. 105,000 Dark Elixir. 3, 2, 1. Bam. There you go. Elixir for the Warden, 9.8 million. Bam, there you go. And uh, I definitely don't have enough Elixir for the other barracks. I think this barracks finished. Oh no, oh, okay. Never mind, it's five days. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna do that. So uh, these barracks can just kinda hang tight. And then these dark barracks have three million Elixir. And I have none, so. 
That's cool. So I can actually spend some gold. So let's go ahead. I think it was the cannons. Yeah, it was the cannons that I was working on. So 100,000 gold, which means I can put 13 million into my walls. There's 11 million. Oh, yes. I don't know. There's something super satisfying about seeing these walls go lava like this. Like once it gets past the lava walls, I don't enjoy it quite as much, I guess, because it goes from from lava to stone, which makes sense. It's like the lava's cooling down. And then it, I don't know what happens after that. Like it gets electrical. I mean, I don't understand it, but you know, it's kind of cool seeing it go from like a little bit of fire to a lot of fire. That's pretty cool. Okay. So uh, cannon, there you go. Boom. Nice. There you go. So rush to max guys, all the progress in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love upgrading heroes, especially the warden and the king at the same time. They're both, uh, both heroes going to be waking up level 41 next time. And I really need to get to work on this royal champion. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> guys, that's all for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, join the class family and ring that bell for notifications. And don't forget to use code class. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time. Thank you.